Daniel, congratulations on signing a new contract, keeping you at the football club until 2027. How does it feel to commit your future to Charlton Athletic? It's a dream come true. I'm really, really, really excited for the future. Uh, I've been at this club since under 11, so it's been a really long journey. I signed my first pro two years ago, around this time actually. And I'm just really excited for what the future holds and scoring more goals for the club and just contributing as a whole. You mentioned it there, you joined the club at under 11s. Talk to me about the journey that you've gone through, all the age groups into breaking into the first team here. I'll be here all day if I was to talk about all the coaches and all the experiences that I've had. But yeah, it's been a whirlwind really. It's been a lot of highs, a lot of lows, but coaches, family, mum and dad, agent Joe, they've all helped me throughout my journey up until this point. And I'm just grateful to the academy and everyone else that's been part of my journey to get me to where I am today. Has it been nice to have that consistency in terms of having a club from the Valley to Sparrows Lane to help you navigate that journey? Because it's not easy coming through a player pathway. You've made it look easy, but it's not. Uh, it's really, really difficult, but uh, a lot of credit goes to the academy for making it such a smooth transition into the first team. And also the players in the first team that welcomed me when I was 17 and have helped me grow into the player I am right now. And obviously this isn't the finished product, but they're helping me get better and better each day with the coaching staff as well and the physios and all those guys as well. So yeah, I'm just trying my best to work hard every day and try and better myself each day. This is a special moment for you, but a special moment for your family. What kind of influence and role have they played away from the football pitch? Just supporting me in any, any ways possible. Literally where times where I didn't take the train, they would, they'd rush home from work as soon as, <laughs> as soon as the time struck five, they'd rush home from work, picking me up to then take me to football. And then they'd stand in the freezing cold <laughs> in the evenings just to watch me train and then to watch me play games as well. So they've been through a lot, probably a lot more than me because they've put themselves through the cold where <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had to worry too much about that. But they've really done a lot for me throughout my life, not just through football, but just guiding me as well bringing me up to be the person I am right now. So yeah, all the credit goes to them. All that sacrifice must make moments like this more rewarding for you and for them as well. 100%. Well, look, you mentioned it earlier. We're coming up to two years since you made your professional debut. For any young player, that is, of course, a really exciting and challenging step to make. How have you found it overall? I've just embraced it. I've just, yeah, I think, first of all, like, there wasn't really any nerves because I was just so excited about it because these, these are the moments that you dreamed of from the moment you joined the club to be making your professional debut. And I made my professional debut in the league, which was even better. So yeah, I just, it's just something that you just have to embrace and really enjoy. And I think I did that. And I think that's helped me kick on uh, very well this season where every game, there's never really been nerves. It's just been another chance to impress, another chance to play football, a sport that I've loved since I was born, basically. This season in a Charlton shirt, it seems with every appearance there's an improvement, confidence building. How do you reflect upon your season so far? It's been a really successful one. I think I've done, oh, if you ask me, <laughs> if you'd have told me that I'd done all of this, what I've done, I wouldn't have believed you. But scoring four goals in one game on loan to South End, making my international debut against Egypt, uh, so many things that I've done this season that I'm very, very proud of. and. The season's only half done, so there's obviously a lot more to come. But yeah, it's not, it, was, it wasn't something that I'd planned in my head. Naturally, when you go into each season, you have an idea of what you're going to be doing and the goals that you have. But it didn't go exactly to plan, but it's all worked out really, really well. So yeah, I'm very, very impressed and very happy for myself. I'm proud of myself for what I've achieved so far. You should be very, very proud because, of course, this is the season that you also made your international debut. What is it like playing for your country? It's a different feeling. It's a different feeling. Um, there was a sense of pride uh, that I felt that I've never really felt before because you're representing people that... your own people. So it's, it felt a lot different and coming onto the pitch at the time, playing against some of your idols, such as Mo Salah, it made the moment even more special. So yeah, everything about that, not just the, the game, but the entire journey and the entire trip itself was just amazing. And we're coming up, when this contract concludes, it will be a decade that you've been a part of Charlton Athletic Football Club and you've mentioned how it's moulded you as a player. I just wondered, how has the football club moulded you as a person? 
I think it's molded me to more, much more of a well-rounded person. I think they know how to keep you grounded. I think that's probably the most important thing. And when, when, you, when, when they keep you grounded, you begin to appreciate the smaller things. And yeah, I think through the stuff that we do with education as well, um, do a bit of coaching, a bit of refereeing, helps you just understand that there's more to football than just, uh, I'm, I, I signed my pro contract, that's it, I'm done, things like that. Uh, we always, well, Joe Francis, head of education, always kept on, kept me on my toes, always making sure I was doing well in my education. Um, or well, talking about education, I, I did an A level, which again kept me preoccupied quite a lot last year, especially. And yeah, I think that also kept me quite grounded as well, because as much as I was playing football, I knew when I came home I had to go straight to my books to revise. So <laughs> um, <laughs> there wasn't, yeah, it wasn't much time for me to get two highs with the highs because I knew that as soon as I come home, I have to start revising again. Well, look, finally, Daniel, Charlton supporters proudly boast of you as one of their own. Valley Gold has played a part in your development. Do you have anything that you'd like to say to supporters? I expect more of the same, yeah, and even better things as well. That's all I can say. I know whenever I step on the pitch, I give 110%. So I'm going to continue doing that. But also I'm going to add some more goals to the game as well, more assists and just improve as a player. Absolutely love that answer. Congratulations once again. Thank you.